The non-consensual sharing of intimate images online is currently not a criminal offence in Ireland, but the country's government is under intense pressure to change this. This came after a report by a victim support group known as the Victim Alliance. They said that they had found hundreds of thousands of intimate images of women in Ireland that have been shared in online forums without their consent. They describe this as an unprecedented situation. Now, it's worth saying that Ireland does not at this stage have a law. It did previously debate and propose legislation back in May 2019 but this has not come into force and many people are now suggesting that this report has shown the inadequacy of the country's justice system. You have, for example, Mary Lou MacDonald from Sinn Féin who said a very clear message that the sharing of these kind of images is a profound violation of women's and girls' rights. And indeed, a petition online has now been signed by more than 54 thousand people calling for Ireland to bring new laws into place to tackle revenge porn. Well, the country's justice minister, Helen McEntee, has since responded. In a lengthy Twitter thread, she said that she shared the anger and upset that people had felt with this report and said that she is determined to act and introduce tough new laws, which will make it a serious criminal sanction for anyone sharing these kind of images. She went on to say that it will not matter for the motivation behind the sharing of these images or indeed if consent has been given. She is determined to act strictly on this regard. Now, these new proposals are due to be brought before the Irish Cabinet on Tuesday, before they go to the door, that's the Irish Parliament, as soon as possible next month. And this new acceleration of the legal process has been welcomed by a number of politicians. You have Holly Cairns, for example, who said that this news from Helen McEntee, the Justice Minister, is indeed good news. But other people also saying that it's taken Ireland too long to respond to this issue. And on a final note, important to say that the authorities and indeed anyone else who has been affected or concerned by this story is advised to seek the helplines in both Ireland and indeed across Europe.